Anyway, I, I love Harlan Hubbard. And here's an excerpt from his book, Shanty Boat. A river tugs at whatever is within reach, trying to set it afloat and carry it downstream. Living trees are undermined and washed away. No piece of driftwood is safe, though stranded high up the bank. The river will rise to it, and away it will go. The river extends this power of drawing all things with it, even to the imagination of those who live on its banks. Who can long watch the ceaseless lapsing of a river's current without conceiving a desire to set himself adrift and, like the driftwood which glides past, float with the stream clear to the final ocean. With me, the attraction of flowing water goes back as far as I can remember. I want to read that sentence again because that is absolutely true of me and probably a lot of people in this room. With me, the attraction of flowing water goes back as far as I can remember. My river is the Ohio, whose channel from the first has borne the dreams of men from the old and known to the new, old and known to the new and strange. The early voyages were made in quest of a golden fleece, which to some meant a new free land in the west, to others a better market in the south for their homemade and homegrown products. To these men, the river was first of all a means of transportation. Some of them must have loved the river for its own sake or learned to love it. For they, they made repeated voyages downstream, selling boats and cargoes in the south and toiling overland back to their starting place, like boys dragging their sleds uphill to coast down again. The true shanty boater has a truer has a purer love for the river than, his, than had his drifting flatboat predecessors. They were concerned with trade or new land. To him, the shanty boat of the river is more than a means of livelihood. It's a way of life, the only one he knows, which answers his innate longing to be untrammeled and independent, to live on the fringe of society. His drifting downstream is as natural to him as his growing old in the stream of time. Away from the river, he languishes as if taken from his natural element. It is to be regretted that the race of shanty boaters is dying out. Today, you are likely to find even an active fisherman living in a house on land or in a trailer. Those who still live on the water have motorboats to shove their fleet upstream and down too, so that the art of drifting is forgotten. The younger generation seem to have interests away from the river. They will never be able to tell the tales their granddads can. I cultivated the acquaintance of old time river people whenever possible and listened to their yarns almost with reverence. The simplicity and naturalness of their way of living fascinated me and gave a definite shape to the vague longing which the flowing river had inspired.